Today, you are coming with me on an exploration of an abandoned $5.5 million mega mansion. It's so bizarre to see how many of these giant homes are left behind in America, only to be destroyed by elements, people, and developers. But behind every abandoned home is a unique story of someone's life. And that's what we're here to uncover. What's up guys, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another episode. Today, we're gonna to be exploring this magnificent abandoned Mediterranean style mansion. This place was abandoned in 2005 when the owner passed away. He was an art dealer and art collector and also collected some antiques, but we're gonna get into the story here in just a little bit. We're gonna walk around this entire property and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first walking up on it, there's this like fountain here with this U driveway. And here's the mansion right here. It's like this Mediterranean style brick mansion with the yellow brick. It's beautiful. This place has like been abandoned since about 2005. And uh, as you can tell, it's pretty overgrown, kind of neglected up here. Let's walk around a little more. Let's see what this place has to offer. This is your front porch. Big archway. Details and everything. There's some some gargoyle things at the at the front door there. I mean, this place would have been beautiful. This beautiful front porch. The bricks are kind of lifting a little bit in some areas. You're on a beautiful piece of land. I think it, I want to say this is a uh, two acres of land right here. This is how it sits on, and this is just what you got in your very front. And already looking inside, there's definitely stuff left in it. Let's walk around to the back and see what's over there. So you guys can see the sheer size of this. Check it out. 10,000 square foot mansion along with these condos back here. This place looks huge. What an incredible mansion this is. Not only that, there's some bamboo right here that really add to it. How cool is that? So inside, these condos were luxurious, but they have fallen in from just complete neglect. The grass looks like it's not maintained, but it gets cut by the city every now and then. This place is massive, guys. Absolutely massive. And this is like in a little horseshoe shape right here. But this is what we got going on. So when we get to this, this part of it, it almost looks like the Colosseum. <laughs> like this little spot right here. So I believe there's only three condos at this place. They have garages. This is like a gate to go to one of them. Right here. See, here's the your front door. You have a little thing right there. And it does open. So we will take a look at the inside just a little bit. So look at this. Staircase has completely fallen in. It's so moldy down here. That goes to the garage, which is completely caved in from the floor. Spotter webs everywhere. I wish we could go upstairs, but it just in bad shape. But check out this room. Oh my gosh, the floor in here. The floor in here is real nice. That's why I'm saying these are like luxury condos right here. We even got foosball. But that's just part of the place. You see, this is like your little porch right here in this condo. Dang, you can even see in one of the rooms right there, the wall looks incredible. This place is just run down completely. See, and this would be the second condo right here. 
And then your third one is back there and there's actually a car because somebody lives in that one back there. But this one is not lived in and is falling apart completely. So, and it's like this circular building. It's so crazy. Guys, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But anyways, that's the house. We're gonna go inside now and we're gonna see what's left. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, hit that subscribe button, leave a like down below. But first, before we go inside, let's hear the story and let's see why this place is left like it is. In today's episode, we are taking a trip down south to a massive abandoned mansion that was last owned by an art and antique dealer. The 10,000 square foot mansion dates all the way back to 1920, being built in a Mediterranean style. But what's very unique about this place is that behind the main house is a horseshoe shaped structure that last served as luxurious condominiums. The family that lived here bought the mansion in the 1990s and ran their business from home. But in 2005, the man passed away due to an illness and his wife was unable to keep up with the mortgage. The bank eventually took the property and ultimately left it abandoned with everything still inside. So join me today and let's see what's left. Alright guys, we made it inside of the abandoned mansion. Now guys, I'm going to start you guys upstairs and show you all the bedrooms up here and then work our way downstairs where there is some really, really cool stuff. All the furniture is left behind. There's a big old fountain right in the middle with some beautiful stained glass going above. I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek of that, but I didn't want to show you everything because I want you to stay and watch this video because this place is magnificent. And I want you to see the whole grandness of this abandoned mansion here. And guys, I'm so excited to show you guys this whole place. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna start you guys upstairs, show you all these bedrooms, and then we're gonna go downstairs. You already saw the outside. Beautiful Mediterranean style mansion here. This place is about 10,000 square feet. It's pretty big and yeah, we're gonna walk through the whole place and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm with Jeremy Explorers, he's downstairs, and let's get right into this. So these are the stairs that I had to come up to get up here, but so many good things are down there. So you gotta stay tuned to see what's down there. It's amazing. But let's take a look at what's up here. Now this place was owned by a Chinese family. So there's gonna be a lot of um, Chinese furniture and things like that. So let's walk through. So the first thing up here is that I noticed they carpeted this whole thing. And I can imagine that the staircase had some beautiful woodwork and everything done to it, but yeah, sadly, they carpeted the whole upstairs, but it's okay. There is a big mirror here, as you guys can see. And this is like your little walkway here. We got a beautiful mirror placed back here. Nothing hung up though. Some furniture, and all the furniture in here is pretty modern, to say the least. But the first room we're gonna go into is right here to my right. So it's a really large blue bedroom. I believe this is the master bedroom right here. So the deal going on with this is all this blue, it's like a very teal blue. The sunlight is coming in so good this morning. Beautiful day today to get, be out exploring. We have a chandelier, a little crystal chandelier, really pretty. Even your own fireplace and a very large room. And you can see there's like this walkway here that is this arch and it's really, really fancy. This place was built quite a long time ago, so they put a lot of uh, thought into this place in detail. 
So they had the furniture back over here. And it's all kind of the same furniture. It's like beige color up here. Very nice, that probably went on top of that. No bed left right here, but it's weird because sometimes they remove some stuff, but not everything. And this house is one of those cases where they moved out some of the things, but definitely not everything. There's still a lot of stuff here, but this is just our master bedroom. Another giant mirror. So they really liked having mirrors. And check this out. This is a, uh, this is the closet, a little walk-in closet. Nothing too crazy going on. This walk-in closet, it looks like they tore out all the, the shelves and stuff, which I think they were gonna renovate the whole place and then kind of just gave up. But you got so many windows to let in all the natural light and it's just beautiful. And on this side, there's another closet here. It's a little bit smaller, but there's your secondary closet. More mirrors. And then we're gonna go over here and this is the master bathroom, which this is why I'm saying like they were trying to renovate, but then kind of just stopped. There's no flooring in here anymore. There's like this new shower stuff, like the fancy showers too. As you can see, it's got literally buttons on it like this. And then this nice tub here. I can only imagine what it would have looked like when they finished it. This place is very nice. And this is one of those jetted tubs. It's got the buttons and everything. Very pretty and fancy, but there's not even flooring in this room. It looks to be one of those cases where it's like, they just gave up, you know? But what can you do? Let's keep exploring. We're gonna go to our next room now and we're gonna see what's left in there. But I'm telling you guys, stay tuned for downstairs. It's just incredible. All right, so <clears throat> this house is one of those houses where everything flows into each other. So I'm gonna walk straight through this room, which looks like a bathroom right here, and go to our next bedroom. So let's walk through. I'm uh, pretty excited and pretty stoked about this one. Found this one a few months back and I've been out here a few times, but I've never tried this place until now. So really excited that we got in and that this place is so cool. So. So there's another mirror. There's so many mirrors in this house. But this room right here looks pretty cool. It's just another bathroom. Got the pink and white tiles on the floor. Modern sink, which they didn't finish. Like I said, a lot of this looks like it was gonna be renovated, but then they kind of just gave up on it all. You got your shower here. One of a few bathrooms in this house. Cabinets are still here. This looks like some sort of heater or like a radio or something. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's a heater. Now we go back to this room right here. This bedroom looks pretty cool to say the least. It's a really long bedroom. We got a couple of chandeliers hanging up in here. We still have the bed left behind. It's like really modern and like the mattress looks pretty comfortable, but no other furniture is left in this room. There is a giant B right here if you guys can see that and then not only that behind this place you guys know has this condo building which is almost all the way abandoned but check it out this bed is super cool and this room itself is really cool got the chandeliers the light is coming in check it out look how large this room is this room is just so long <laughs> like it doesn't I don't know, there's so much stuff that could go in here, so much furniture that could be up in here. And then when you look right outside, this is that stained glass that's downstairs. Big old mansion here. I'm so excited to be showing you guys this. Such a large room. So from that room, it leads us right back out to here. And we got that way, we got this way. But since it all flows, I'm gonna go through this door 
work our way back around that way. Check it out. We do have a bed left in here. King size bed. Nice bed frame. But the whole frame isn't here. So the bed would be more lifted off the ground. But nonetheless, still very nice. The furniture in here is just pretty stunning throughout the whole house. And you can see not only this furniture is left, but right on the other side here too. This is all left too. And it's all matching. You got a fireplace in here as well and a painting of looks like the ocean. Just really need to see. And we have this super old Coca-Cola light which looks like it expired June of 2000. So you got a 23 year old can of Coke light in here. I've never heard of Coke light. The furniture is just definitely not disappointing me today. It's like these little details and like the handles of the drawer. You can see that. So this is like your second bedroom that we, we've been in in the house. No, third, this is the third bedroom we've been in the house. Two closets on both sides, it looks like. Same deal, pretty empty in there. And then this closet right here, which they didn't remove the shelves in this one. We're very early in the renovating stages before they abandoned the place. And I do believe that there was a lot of very, very high-end furniture and furniture from Europe in this place. And I believe they auctioned a lot of it off after this place went abandoned. But obviously some of it was left to despair. Come back here, we have our next bathroom. Again, really modern. Shower here. Toilet, the blue tiles in this one. So it almost is like the feel of like boy side, girl side. Which they do that in a lot of older houses. They'll do like pink and blue. Pink for girl, boy for blue. So then we enter back here and check this out. So if I'm not mistaken, this is something to do with Chinese culture or Japanese culture. Um, this is either a tea room or a meditation type room. So you can see there's like a chair sitting in the middle there. So maybe they did meditations back here, but it's a mat. So this is definitely a very Asian culture and there's these sliding doors that have the bamboo on them, pretty cool. So I've never seen one of these inside of an abandoned house before. Well, I have, but it was a house I unfortunately couldn't film. It's still really cool to see this finally and get to show you guys something like this. This room was probably more for their meditation or teas or, or something like that. If you guys know more about the Asian culture like that, let me know down in the comments what you think this room was specifically used for, but I'm pretty sure I'm close at least. <laughs> so again, the carpet in here, not so great of carpet, but you know, looks like there's a closet over here too. Yeah, little tiny closet, nothing going on with it. So that's super neat. Already really loving this place. And a chandelier in like every room too. Looks like we've walked through most everything upstairs. I missed this little room back here. So you can see what's back here. Looks like they ripped up the carpet. So yeah, this was like another little, could have been another bedroom or it could have been a bathroom of some sort, but there's carpet in here. So it's hard to tell, but either way, um, this is what's in this room. Not much going on. All right guys, time to head downstairs. I cannot wait to show you what's down there. We have a lot to see, a lot of stuff left behind. Really modern stuff, a fountain, stained glass, everything you can imagine, it's amazing. So 
I'm gonna take you guys down there. Let's roll a montage of this cool upstairs. Making our way downstairs now. You can see even on the stairs, there's these very beautiful details. What we got here is a side door that leads outside. This little room where the stairs are. Now the furniture is what's really incredible in this place. The stuff that they left behind. Check out the staircase though. It's very gorgeous. It's all white. I just imagine what it looked like without the carpet. But now, time to show you the really, really good room. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. So there's a fountain here with this multicolored stained glass skylight and a beautiful chandelier hanging right above it. It's incredible. It's all white tile down here with this amazing white fountain. And they had it lime blue in there so when the water was in here, it would give this blue look. This is the first time I've ever seen a fountain like this inside of an abandoned mansion. That's crazy. Look at that, it's like an angel like pouring the water out and it's got spider webs riddled all around it. It's really hard to get over that stained glass. Let me see if I can show you guys the colors a little better. Yeah, check it out. That is so colorful. Can you imagine this being your home that you come to every day? We got Jeremy in the house. This place is incredible. We got pocket doors right here too, just to throw that out there before I show you the rest of this room. And check that out. The molding going along the ceiling there, this archway entering this room. I mean, look at that. You can't beat this stuff. So if we look to our left here, we're gonna see this piece of furniture it has a marble top on it. It's so pretty. This has to be worth thousands of dollars. And then with a little gold mirror on top, I don't think this mirror was specifically for this piece of furniture, but nonetheless, that is a beautiful piece. Very detailed, very well detailed with the marble top. This fountain is just insane. I have a printer here and all this other furniture. Some of it's wrapped up. Like they were really gonna do a lot of stuff to this place. But then check it, this out. There's a table here, still set up. Got all the fancy chairs. Wow. Like this is one incredible room, guys. There's so much more to see. Look, we have more stuff back here and check that out. Look at that stained glass. That almost looks like a permanent Christmas decoration. It goes above the doors too. Those, both of those doors lead to the back porch outside and to the condos that are back there. Look at all the details up here. You guys can see all that. It goes all the way across this whole room right here. A lot of this stuff looks really, it's like a mix of modern and European stuff. Like this chair is definitely more like a modern, feels like an office chair almost though. There's one on each side of the room here. <laughs> I just can't get over this fountain, it's crazy. There's another piece of furniture here, very beautiful. It looks European. And I just noticed this on the door to the staircase. Look at this detail it has in it. That almost feels like Egyptian almost. Let's go through this door where it looks like we have the dining room Wow, check that out. This is a huge dining room table. It has 10 chairs at it. So check this dining room table out. Even the chandelier above it. It's like a brass chandelier. Dang, this is so preserved. I'm so glad to be showing you a place like this. You don't see a whole lot of times a dining room table of this size with everything like still here with all the chairs 
still sitting here and everything. And even this furniture right here, this cabinet, it's so big. Like it would take forever to put this together. And this is one of those European ones where it takes a skeleton key to even open it. Looks like we have two doors over here. Has like a little generator in it. Got another piece of furniture here to go with everything. Little cabinet right here. Like there's a skeleton key for it. It says 80. I think it's been a long time since I've even seen a table this big in a house. This door looks like a swinging door. So I believe this is probably going to go to the kitchen. Yeah. So here we have the kitchen, guys. And it looks like it was almost finished. Like this has a nice granite countertop. Very nice island here. And all these cabinets look newer, new-ish. No oven or fridge in here. I think they took it all out to, you know, renovate. But this is what they were left with. Got this nice marble flooring. More of this beautiful furniture. They have tags on it, so you can see everything is going to be auctioned off. This is your kitchen, your island in here, everything like that. Very beautiful house. Very beautiful kitchen. And then, you have this room back here, which I'm not sure was used for. There's a table here, a few tables here, three to be exact. There's chairs, there's more of these cabinets, things like that. But everything has like sale stuff on it. So this is the stuff that didn't make it. It looks like I have a tiny little door here. Whirlpool electric. Check out this piece. This has some stained glass on it. Let's go back through this side. Let's take another look at this. Insane. We're gonna walk over to this side, into this room right here. And we see that there's a TV stand here. There's a brand new mattress and a box with something in it. Not too sure what's in it. We have a bike here. Looks like, yeah, tires are flat on it. Check out this bed frame. Wow, such intricate details on everything. And this is one of those changing things where you like put it up and then you go behind it to change. I'm not sure the exact term for it, but pretty sweet nonetheless. Check out this piece. This is like a little desk with a mirror on it. Very beautiful. All this like wood and stuff. It's sad that it's just sitting here not going anywhere. There's also another little vanity right there. And look at these chairs. Beautiful floral chairs. Looks very comfortable too. Carpeted all in here. This is another little desk area they have sitting in here. So we're gonna go walk just right through. We got paintings left here. We got more furniture. But it leads to this bathroom back here. This nice tiling. You guys can see all this stuff in here. They were definitely going to remodel. Definitely have a lot of remodeling stuff in here. Some of it's more modern too. Wow. Not a bad looking bathroom. The floors in here are pretty, kind of the same design as all the other ones, but this one's like bigger. And then we got this room right here, which looks like just storage. But look at this piece of furniture right here. Check that out. 
this like whole thing protrudes out, probably hand carved. That is beautiful. And behind it, looks like there's a little mirror, probably held for like jewelry and stuff like that. I think this is a jewelry little closet thing. But as you can see on all of these boxes, it has Chinese lettering, Shanghai furniture. All of these boxes have that Shanghai furniture on it. There's another bike back here. And this, guys, is a pool table. Dang. <laughs> I wish this was set up. That would be cool. But yeah, there's a pool table here. That's neat. Check it out. Another bike. Again, flat tires. Shanghai furniture boxes everywhere in here. I mean, look, they're all over the place. So I can only imagine what all this stuff is. Like imagine if all this furniture was out, set up, everything in this place would be a complete time capsule. Which I mean, it kind of is anyways. Super cool. I wish that pool table was set up though. That would be so awesome. But this is a, another bedroom to say the least and you know, not much going on just because it's used for storage right here. Like I wonder what's in this big box. Everything's heavy and whatnot. All right, now we're gonna enter into this room which is the main entrance. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Check out the ceiling. You got the furniture left. This table right here in the middle. More furniture on this side. And amazing chandeliers. How incredible is that? That's just the first one. And then we have these accent little chandeliers on the wall. The color in here is like a salmon-ish color, kind of orange. This is just one side. We have these black leather couches, which are very modern looking in here. Check it out, look at that chandelier. That is beautiful. Along with a big fireplace. And the fireplace has this like mosaic tile going along it, which is very pretty. With a big mirror right here and just check out all the details that went into this fireplace. And not only that, there's one on the other side too. Like, this is kind of the view from one side right here. These couches though, look so, they look kind of office-y though. Cause there is two, there's an office right here and there's an office on the other side too. It's kind of the feel they give. And the floor, we got the hardwood floor in here. This table right in the middle, kind of a more modern looking table. More modern couches here. And this one has a coffee table on it. Another beautiful chandelier. And the same thing, so it's like kind of mirrored on this side to that side. But check out the ceiling and the details going all along the edges of the ceiling. Looks like we have another piece of furniture here, which was also for sale at some point. Wow, what an amazing entryway this home has. Check out the front door. Got the double doors. And then you walk straight through to the fountain room. It's like, that's like your main entrance when you come into the place. So we go over to this side and we have a desk. So this side was like almost used for like an office. A little table here with some chairs. Nice windows, all the natural light coming in here. You have a nice little old fan right here in the corner. So I wonder what kind of business they were doing out of their home. One thing about the home right now is we don't really know anything about it yet, besides that it was owned by some Chinese family, but we don't know anything about what they did or anything yet. So, but you guys, you guys already know and we'll know in the beginning of this video, but let's check out the other office. Here's the other office right here. Kind of same deal going on. Nice chairs, beautiful colors. Chandelier in here too. Very pretty, but it's carpeted in this one, but it's not in the other one. And you got the pocket doors also. Let's make it even better.
All right, guys, and that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. What an amazing place. If you guys like this video, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below, comment your favorite part, and let me know, guys, what you think and what you're ready to see next. I'm already back home, already enjoying the new year, and I want to say Happy New Year to all you guys. We have so much stuff coming this year, and I'm so excited to bring you along. Shout out to Jeremy for coming with me. Check him out down below. And like always, big thanks out.